Hi students, good morning. Are you fine? I hope you are fine. Last class what we discussed, we discussed about food. Yeah? What is food? Any substance which gives energy and keeps our body in good health is known as food. Yeah? What are the um, why we need food? If you want to do any work, we need food. Yes, if you want to work, we need energy. So where we get energy? We get energy from food. Yes? If we, our body wants to fight against some several diseases, when we improve our immunity, we need to have some healthy food. So yes, where we get this food? We get health, um, some food from plant side animals. Yes, most of the food items we get from plants. So all the living organs are depend upon plants. So you know the plants are producers. Yes, the plants are prepared their own food by using carbon dioxide, water and sunlight. Yes, with the process of photosynthesis. After the process of photosynthesis, they release which gas, oxygen, gas and they store food in the form of starch. Yeah. Listen, in the plant, yes, so all the parts are edible. Already we discussed in that last classes, yes. Some plants, the root are also used as a food. Some plants, stem. some plant leaves, seed, yes, so flowers, yes, and some fruits and vegetables, yes. These are some of the uh, plant food we use in our daily food, you know. The whole plants, the flower produce fruits, vegetables, and seed, yes. Here is your activity is preparation of sprout of seed. Yeah? Then after what we discussed in last class, we discussed about animal products. You know animals are heterotrophs, they can't be able to produce their own food. Yes, they depend upon animals. Some of the animals also produce some food items. Yes, what are they? Meat, egg, honey, milk. Yes, meat. What are the sources of meat? Chicken, chicken, yes, uh, meat, yes, uh, then goat, fish, oyster, prawn. These are the, some of the sources of meat, yes. The next word, egg, yes, uh, what are the sources of egg? Ken, goose, ducks. Most of the people are like to eat ken's egg. Yes, the egg contain protein and the white portion contain proteins and the egg contain vitamin D, yes. The next of the honey, you know, uh, honey is a sweet liquid. Honey we collect nectar from flowers and uh, say the honey home. We are collecting honey from honey home. The honey home is uh, used for cooking and they have some medicinal values. Yeah? The next one after honey what? Milk. Yes. Uh, here we are using cow's milk. Yes. In desert places they are using camel and some mountain region and people are like to oh, eat, drink, drink yak milk. Yeah? From here the um, Milk contains protein and calcium. Protein and calcium. Protein, we need protein for our growth. Yes, if the small babies need more amount of protein for their growth. Calcium. Why we need calcium? Okay. Calcium required for the growth of teeth, bones, and proper nerve functioning. Okay. It helps to keep our teeth, bones healthy and keep our nervous system healthy. Then, next what? Next to our milk products, yeah. What are the milk products? Yes, what is called dairy products? The products made from milk is known as milk products or dairy products, yeah. What are the types of milk products? What are they? Okay, paneer, yeah? cheese, cream, butter, ghee, and curd. Okay, what is called the milk products? The products made from milk is known as milk product. What are they? Paneer. Yeah. After that, what? Pani, cheese, cream, butter, ghee, and curd. Yes, pani. You know how you want to prepare pani? Add some lemon juice in the hot milk. Yes. After which process convert the milk into pani? Curd process. Yes. In this process, there are two layers. It convert in two layers: solid and liquid layer. Okay. When the solid layer is used, solid portion is used for preparation of pani. The next one is cheese. Okay. The curded milk of cow, goat, uh, and buffalo is used for making cheese. Then green. The fatty layer of the milk is used for preparation of green. Then butter. Okay. The um, churning of cheese is made into butter. Yes. If you um, melt butter after we get ghee. Yeah. Then curd. If you add some lemon juice or curd sample into hot milk. Yes. Um, the curd sample contains 
bacteria is that lactobacillus is this curd sample convert the hot milk into curd are you clear today we are going to discuss about what do animals eat what do animals eat already we know the plants are autotrophs animals are heterotrophs the animals are depend upon the plants and other animal plant pro plants plant product and animals okay depend upon the eating habits the animals are classified into five types okay depend upon the feeding habits the animals are classified into five what are they means herbivo carnivo omnivo scavengers and decomposers okay depend upon the feeding habits the animals are categorized into five what are they means herbivo carnivo omnivores then scavengers and decomposers okay here you see what is herbivores what is herbivores an animal that eat only plant and plant products so no known as herbivores okay an animal that eat only plant and plant product is known as herbivore carnivores okay an animal that eat the flesh of other animal is known as carnivores what is called a herbivore an animal that eat only plant and plant products are known as herbivores what is carnivore an animal that eat only the flesh of other animals are known as carnivores then omnivores omnivores are eat both plants and animals scavengers okay an animal that eat flesh of dead animal flesh of dead animals carnivores they eat flesh of other animals they live animals okay they they eat scavengers is flesh of dead animals decomposers okay decomposer feed on dead remains of plants and animals yeah from this five today we are going to discuss about only herbivores and carnivores herbivores and carnivores okay when so listen what is herbivore an animal that eat only plant and plant products are known as herbivore you listen these are the some of the example of herbivorous animals okay what are they cow yes goat horse camel deer elephant giraffe yes zebra kangaroo these are the some of the animals okay you we'll see from this which is the biggest herbivorous animal which is the biggest herbivorous animal elephant is the biggest herbivorous animal so okay this elephant uh, eat 140 kg of food day, day okay the elephant eat how many kg of food day one day 140 kg it's um, include grass or stuffs or herbs okay this all will be included there okay on same is an artist herbivores an animal that eat only the plant and plant products are known as herbivores okay example cow goat horse yes elephant zebra deer rabbit parrot okay butterflies also include here squirrel this all will be under the category of herbivore okay what is the biggest herbivorous animals mean elephant yes so the elephant eat how many kg of food in one day per day they eat 140 kg include grasses stuffs cups everything okay then the herbivorous animals have some special characters herbivorous animals have some special characters okay herbivorous animals such as cow and goat have they have white blunt teeth do you see and this is the if you can see herbivorous animals such as cow goat and horse have white blunt teeth okay the help of this teeth only they chew grass from grazing plant okay this can pull from the grass from the ground okay this and here herbivorous animals such as cow goat cow goat and horse have which type of teeth white blunt teeth okay such teeth are suitable for pulling plants of the ground and grinding them okay with the help of these teeth only they pulling the grass from the ground it is helpful for chewing then herbivorous animals such as cow and goat have the ability to um, came up previously swallowed portion food items okay for chewing this is helpful for taking more amount of nutrients from undigested food okay herbivores such as cow and goat have the ability to bring back of 
previously swallowed food item for chewing. Okay, this is helpful for getting more amount of nutrients from undigested food. Next one is squirrels. Okay, squirrels. Squirrels have a pair of broad, sharp edged front teeth. Okay, see here. See here. Squirrels have a pair of broad, sharp edged front teeth. Okay, with the help of these teeth, they can the seed and eat. Then, you see, insect. Insects such as butterfly. How? They can able to chew? No. Okay. How they will be? They have the mouth portions have star like projection. Yes, with the help of the star like projection, they suck the nectar from flower. Okay. Then parrot. Yes, the parrot be very sharp. With the help of this beak only, uh, they um, break the fruits and eat the seed. Are you clear? Once again, listen. What are the characters of herbios? Herbios animals such as cow, goat and horse have white blunt teeth. Okay. Such teeth are helpful for pulling grass from the ground and it also helpful for chewing. Then, you know the cow and the goat. Yes. These two animals any time it will be chewing. Yes. Graining the mouth. Yes. Why? They have the ability to bring back previously swallowed food items for chewing. It will helpful for getting more amount of nutrients from undigest. Okay, next one you see is um, herbivorous animals such as squirrel have see which type of teeth? Sharp, broad, sharp, front edge teeth. Okay, yeah, teeth. This help to know the seed, it help, uh, help perform eating the seed from fruits. Then, butterfly. Butterfly is uh, mouth pot shaped like a stalk. It, is, it help for suck the nectar from flower. Okay, suck the nectar from flower. Then, Parrot. What is the food of parrot? Parrot eat is serious. They have sharp pick. The help of this pick only, they, they broke the fruits and eat seed. Are you clear about this carbios? Uh, now, next one is carnivores. Next one is what? Carnivores. What is called carnivores? And animals that eat only flesh of other animals. Okay. And animals that eat only the flesh of other animals are called herbivores. What are the example of herbivore animal? Sita, lion, tiger, fox, hyena, owl, leopard, dolphin, polar bear, penguin, shark, eagle, snake, frog. These are the some of the examples of carnivores. Okay, what are the examples of carnivores? Tiger, lion, snake, eagle, shark, penguin. Okay, polar bear. These are the some of the examples of Carnivores. You know, the carnivorous animals also have some special characters. The carnivorous animals also have some special characters. See what are the characters means. You know, the carnivorous animals such as lion and tiger. Okay, lion and tiger have sharp and pointed front teeth. Okay, the lion and tiger have sharp and Pointed front teeth and powerful jaws and claws. Okay, powerful claws, jaws and claws. It is helpful for to tear the flesh of other animals. Okay, carnivorous animals such as lion and tiger have sharp and pointed front teeth. Okay, they also have sharp claws and powerful jaw for catching the prey and tearing the. Okay, are you clear? Then yes, carnivores uh, bad such as um, eagle. Yes, eagle have carved point beak. Okay, it allows them to tear flesh. You see, this is the eagle. Okay, carnivore animals such as eagle have carved pointed beak. Okay, beak. this uh, the help of this beak only they tear the flesh and eat. Carnivore, there's shark also carnivores. Yes, so shark have several small sharp teeth sharp teeth that help them to bite off some bunch of small fish okay flesh you see shark have several small sharp teeth that help them to bite off some of flesh okay then frog frog will have frog and um, camden also carnivores okay they eat small small insects how they are sticky sticky tongue frog have long sticky 
stung with the help of this stung what do they catch the insect okay then as to one a snake yes carnivorous animals such as snake shallow they prey ko okay are you clear then one second is an or it is a carnivorous an animal that eat only flesh of other animals are called carnivorous it's some lion tiger snake yes snake shark penguin yes these are the some of the example of carnivorous animals okay the carnivorous animals here also have some special characters carnivorous animals such as lion and tiger have sharp pointed front teeth that is a canines okay canine teeth canine canine teeth then um, carnivorous fish such as shark have small pointed teeth it is helpful for uh, bite of other fish okay then frog and canian okay they has to keep tongue to catch a prey then eagle carnivorous birds the eagle have pointed curved beak the help of this beak will they tear the prey and eat okay then carnivorous animals snake how this is they sell the food for oh. are you clear one thing is on the what we discuss we discuss the word what do animal eat okay depend upon the feeding habits animals are categorized into five what are they herbivore carnivore omnivore scavengers and decomposers okay from here this five today what we discuss what is explained explain about only herbivores and carnivores what is herbivore an animal that eat only plant and plant products are known as herbivore it's somebody what cow goat rabbit butterfly parrot yes these are the some of the example of herbivore okay what are the special character herbivore animals such as uh, horse goat and cow have white blunt teeth what type of teeth present in herbivorous animal white blunt teeth by blunt teeth with the help of this teeth only they pull the grass from the ground and it is used for chewing okay here there are animals such as goat and how have the ability to bring back previously swallowed portion for chewing okay this helpful for getting more amount of nutrients from digest food okay here there are animals such as squirrel have pointed sharp edge front teeth okay this help teeth helpful for no uh, no the see okay then butterflies mouth is star like projection with the help of this star like projection of leaf the butterfly suck the nectar from the flowers then pair they have short beaks with the help of this beak they break the fruits and eat seed then carnivores an animal that eat only flesh of other animals are called carnivores okay it's some be lion tiger snake eagle okay these are some of the example of carnivore they have some special character carnivore animals such as Lion and tiger have sharp edge pointed teeth and they have powerful jaws and claws for catching and tearing the prey. Then shark carnivorous fish shark have small small needle like front teeth. With the help of these teeth only they catch other fish and eat the flesh of other fish. Then carnivorous animals such as frog and camel have sticky tongue teeth. With the help of these teeth only they catch and eat the prey. Then animal eagle birds such as uh, the eagle they have curved pointed beak is with the help of this beak only they um, tear the flesh and eat then you know from these two animals herbivores and carnivores okay which one is prey which one is predators which one is prey and which one is predators this is the prey this is the predators here you see what is predator an animal that hunt for other animal is called predators what is predators an animal that hunt for other animal is called predator what is prey an animal that is hunted down by predator is called prey okay what is predator the animal that hunt for other animal is called predator an animal that is hunted by predator is called prey are you clear here have some questions what are the types of animals uh, what is herbivores okay uh, what is carnivores i all will be sent through in you know whatsapp okay study and you note it all the question answer in your science second booklet okay thank you